Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it, I am Penj and it is time for some more XCOM Enemy Unknown where last time out we got our hands on an alien. We caught one, he was hiding behind a fallen log, it was a thin man, Tazadate ran up and shot the electric sort of alien stun gun taser thing at him and we were able to capture him and we interrogated him and naturally we interrogated him to death of course but we found out some stuff and there were images in his brain and one of the images was of the things that control the ships so the things that when you go into kind of the control room of the crashed ufos and stuff they appear out of nothing they're sort of the energy beings i think they call them the outsider aliens so our next job <laughs> is to capture an alien that doesn't exist at the start of each round, you know, at the start of the uh, sort of the missions, they're not there. So we've got to kind of get into a position where we can conjure the thing up, you know, by wandering into the control room of the uh, spaceship or whatever. And then we've got to jab it with one of the uh, little sort of taser stun prod alien capturing things. So that, that'll be nice and simple then. They don't make things easy, these science bods. What else is going on? Uh, satellite uplink in one day. That's very welcome. UFO power source in four days. Could be interesting. Satellite in seven days. 17 days until the council. Also, I have cobbled together 58 minutes from just selling a few little bits and bobs on the grey market. So I think we can go and get ourselves another satellite. We've got exactly the right amount. So let's get a satellite in play. Now, yeah, it's going to complain that we've not got enough uplink things right now, but we will do in not very many days. Was it one day? Yeah, one day. So let's just go here. Let's move time on. Now, the council are going to keep nagging. Right. Let, let's ignore the council this time until they've got a better webcam. Exactly. I, I, I think that's what we need to do. <laughs> when the council have got some better tech, come back and talk to us again, all right? So let's scan for activity. Right. Satellite uplink is done. So if we now go and have a look, I don't think we can do anything. We've not got any satellites. We've got none available, but we can deploy another three. So we've got one in construction in six days, one that I've just ordered, which will arrive whenever, and then we've got another one as well. So where do we put that? I mean, do we put that over Mexico? Do we put it over Argentina? Do we put it over somewhere over here, like over China maybe? Do we get a satellite over Europe? Because Europe haven't got a satellite over them yet. Well, don't we know what to do? I, I think... I think we'll get one down here. We'll get one in Argentina, I think. They're a bit panicky. They're a little bit nervous. <laughs> They're not very happy. Uh, yeah, look at that. Capture an outsider alien. <laughs> Stop making it difficult. Using an arc thrower, stone an outsider alien to retrieve it for further study. Outsiders have been spotted in close proximity to UFO crash sites. Oh, good. Okay, so let's go through. I, I do realise I keep putting the gangplank thing off. I realise this. I think I can put that off indefinitely. I don't think I'm going to suffer any penalties for that. So let's just keep doing this for now. I kind of want to get... This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Oh, no, I don't want to... I want it to just... Oh, no. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, the best equipped fighters, yeah? How about just some bog standard fighters that will probably get shot down? Okay. Let's scramble some interceptors that are all entirely ordinary. Raven 4... You are going to go up first, and you're probably going to get shot to pieces. I can abort the mission, though. I can actually abort this. So hopefully we can abort it. Okay, you're in pursuit. Good. Uh, oh, we've got an aiming thing. Oh, use aim. Absolutely use aim. Yes, they're going to hit the target. The next two shots are going to hit it. Okay, good job. Good job. Okay, are we taking... We're dodging out of the way quite well. Oh, we've taken a bit of a... Oh, we're taking a bit of a kick in. We're taking a bit of a kick in. Uh, do we pull him out? Do we pull him out? I think we... I know we're going to be all right. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Did we survive? I think we've shot it. Did we? <laughs> did we shoot it down with no with with naught point two seconds remaining? Oh my goodness me! Right, we've shot it down. We used our aim thingamajigger, one of our aiming uh, modules, and the interceptor is is pretty much destroyed. You know, it, it's being held together with with gaffer tape and bits of string. Good grief! Okay. So now, there is a UFO. There is a UFO down in India. Let us send a Sky Ranger. This is perfect. Okay. So who have we got? Phoenix is back. He was injured, but he's back. We've got Van Damme. We've got Wee Hours. Oh, they're all the Major Wee Hours. Corporal Van Damme. Captain Phoenix. Major Boom, which is a brilliant name. <laughs> Because that's the kind of thing that she causes. Major Tazadite and Squaddy Frost. So he is a heavy... Do we want to take two heavies? Two heavies, one assault, two support, and one sniper. 
Van Damme has got the nice new skill where he can shoot people um, if he's overwatching, even if they just pop up to have an attack. So he's got that quite good skill. You're the doc, so you're the mobile medic. You're the now very good sniper. Um, do you know what I think? Let's see, who else could we pick? If we were going to take them out, we could pick another sniper. Do we want another sniper as opposed to uh, whoever we just did have? Another heavy. I don't know. I don't know what the best mix is. I don't. I don't want to take him because he's kind of. He's. He's. I can't change his name or anything or his appearance. I. I like to customize my squad. I'm tempted to take. I'm tempted to take Frost. But then Frost. If we're inside a spaceship, you're going to be slightly less useful. You're going to be slightly less useful. Um. But if we're outside a spaceship, because it's crashed, then oh, I don't know. I don't know. No, let's let's take him. Let's take Max. He can come along for the ride. There you go, Mr. Frost. So you are back on board with us. So uh, there we go. That's the squad. Let's go. Okay, we know the drill by now. Crash site, Operation First Rain. Uh, locate UFO. Yes, it won't be that hard to find. It'll be a big UFO thing that's on fire. Uh, sweep the area for crew. Kill them. And try not to blow any more of the spaceship up than already is blown up and on fire. Gotcha. Okay, so we're in a sparsely populated area. Are we in a lovely kind of... It looks like we're in a kind of a canyon. Like a rocky sort of canyon type thing. Okay, everyone poodles out of the craft. And here we go. Okay. I, th I think I've found the UFO. I think I've been able to locate it. it it's just here. It's just here. Um, okay. We're right next to it. It's right up in front of us. I'm quite surprised. They've dropped us off in a very good point. Now, it's not nothing that way. It's nothing over here. So, we need to find ourselves an outsider alien and capture it. Now... And, and as well, clear off the clear the area and complete the mission for this particular sort of setup as well. Now, how am I going to find one of those? Because normally you go in and it's at the back. The the room with all the controls in is at the back. But that there, look, that that's one of the alien computer things just there, isn't it? So we're we going to find ourselves an outside alien just there. Okay, Phoenix, run over here, Doc. Have a little nosy. Oh, oh my goodness, those things have appeared already. Okay, right. Yes, we need to make every attempt to capture one of those creatures using the arc thrower. I know. Okay, okay. So they're both up there. We need to capture one of these. So we've come in the back. Normally, normally we fight our way through to this point. We normally find these at the end. But we've kind of come into the, the, the back of the ship first. Also, what's this? What's this? I don't know what that is. Okay, you possibly need to get it to some cover because uh, that's not good cover that you're in now. Obviously, we had to kind of lean forward and find out what was going on. But yeah, that's bad cover. I think maybe... I think just there might be a suitable spot for you, my good sir. Because that's a terrible place to be in. Okay. Um, can we... Now, I'll, I'll kill one of them. I will gladly kill one of them. Can we run and gun maybe to here? Who else can we get up there? Uh, Dave cannot see any of them. Right, you go to here. Run, 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 run. You can now see them. Um, okay, switch to that for now. Switch to your pistol. And that means you can... Oh, can you shoot one of them now? 85% chance to hit and you can do up to two damage. Okay, yeah, go for that. If you hit it, that's great. And yeah, you've caused a point of damage on the one at the front. Okay, I'll take that. Because then apparently when you use the arc thrower on a damaged one, it is easier to uh, capture it. Okay, oh, there's not a lot of... <laughs> there's not a lot of stun range on those, is there? Good grief. Okay. Uh, Max. Max can just run over to there. So you can just hide down there. Very good. Uh, Boom can go over there for the moment. Boom can get around that corner. And then Boom can overwatch, I would say. Uh, Van Dam, The brilliantly named Van Dam. Do we run Van Dam in? Like the, the gosh darn it hero that he's supposed to be. Can we leg him into here? Or is that going to be a stupid thing to do? I might run and gun him. Get him there. And try and get him to shoot that one. The one at the back. Try and get him. Can we see the one at the back though? I don't, do you know what? I don't think we can. What if we dashed to here? Can we see the one at the back there? I suspect so. Okay, let's do that. Let's run and gun. Uh, oh, that was Tazadate. 
Oh, that's irritating. I wanted it to be him. Do you know what? It's done now. Whatever. You run, 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 run. There's still two of them up there, and we still can't use your laser blaster thing just yet. And now, you pick on that one. 45% chance to hit. But if we do hit, it'll probably be dead. Yeah, let's just... Whatever. Go for it. Take it. Take the chance. And, uh, no, but we have blown up a bit of wall, which makes us easy. It makes it a little bit easier for us to possibly get our sort of uh, weapons on them and shoot them a bit easier. Right, you go to here. You, Overwatch. Yes, please. Overwatchy Overwatch. Of course, he hasn't got run and gun, has he? Tazard is the only one with run and gun. Why did I think anything else? Okay, so they're shooting at us. You have missed, sirs. And you're taking a reaction shot due to your skill, which you've missed. Brilliant. Damn it. <laughs> yes, damn it. Hit, would you? Oh, okay. Um, We need to kill the one at the back. The one at the back is the one that we want to pick on. So you there, 100% chance. Oh, that's with your pistol. Hang on. No, 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 no. <laughs> Swap it round. Swap it round. And a 100% chance to hit the one at the back that's going to do up to five damage. Yes, please, Dave. We ours, the super sniper extraordinaire. Boom. Our troops... I'm not. There's two of them. There's two of them. Quiet, Dr. Varlin. Pipe down. You're not here in the field being shot at by them. Shush. Shush thyself. Okay, now we all kind of need to try and move up. We all need to move up, but nobody can go and... Um, nobody can go on Overwatch or anything. Unless we run you there... But then that puts you in a terrible position if something does go wrong. If something goes wrong, you're in a really awful position. <laughs> because you need to be there, really, but then you can't use your you can't use your thingamabobber then. What if you come down here? If we get Tazidate just there, you're in some good cover. Oh no, we can't really run around this way. I was thinking maybe we could run round the side. Kind of run over this way. Can we get over here then? Maybe. We could get there with Tazadate. The only worry is there's an alien over this side. Get just here, look. You're in cover. And then maybe next time we can try and run round that way. And then jab it with the stun jabber thingamma. Let's do that. Go for it. Go on, Tazadate. Run, 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 run through the alien shower curtain. And then you're kind of, you're in good cover. Right, Van Damme. We don't want anyone to shoot at it. That's the only problem we've got now. <laughs> everyone just needs to just sit down. Right, everyone else... Can you get into places where you can't be shot? Um, we could move Van Dam a bit nearer. We could get you over there, and then you could hunker down. Yes, please. You're hunker down. You hunker down. <laughs> Everyone. Everyone just hunker down. Hide. Everybody hide, because you can't kill that thing. We don't want you to kill the thing just here. So what's it going to do? It's running round toward... Tazadate. Is it going to take a shot at Tazadate? It might do. I think Tazadate is pretty tough. Yeah, there you go. We can heal Tazadate up from that. That's absolutely fine. Okay. You. Tazadate. Stun. Can we stun you? Have we got enough chance to stun you? No to Oh, look at that. You're, <laughs> you're just out of range. You're just out of reach. If I stood next to it, can I stun it then? What if I just stand here? If I go there, I'm in some sort of cover, and then I can try and stun it. This could be very foolish. Come on, Tazadate. You're brave. You're brave. Okay, here we go. An 80% chance to stun this. If not, you're going to get very much shot in the face. So here we go. Get your gun thing out. Attempt to stun it. And it's worked. Okay. We've stunned it, and it's turned into a little crystal-y thing. Okay, that's good. However... I did just hear alien noises coming through this door. And this person is here all on their own. Poor Tazadate is just sat on their own. Ah, okay. I assume this alien stays stunned forever as well. I assume they stay stunned for as long as we need them to be stunned. And they're not just suddenly, you know, aliens aren't it's not just going to come back and go, Surprise! <laughs> I've come back! And we're going to go, oh, crikeys! Okay, run you through. Um, ah, you, you don't need to go through the shower curtain because we blew a hole in the wall. Splendid! Uh, you can go to there. Let's just try and get everybody now up to continue the uh, the move through the, the actual rest of the ship. You can go this way. So you might be able to apply a bit of healing to poor Tazadate. You did take a bit of a whack there due to how we had to go and capture that thing. Uh, we ours. 
Let's get you up as far as you can. Run, 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 run. And then Boom is also going to be sort of down here somewhere, I think. Yeah, we'll get Boom coming in on this side. So Boom can run. Boom gets the over-the-shoulder camera. And nothing happens, which will be very welcome indeed. Yes, yeah, so there's something going on over there. But that's fine. That's fine. We can cope with something going on over there. Oh, I can hear terrifying alien sounds. That's a little bit less welcoming. <laughs> okay. Get ready. Hide near the shower curtain. Everybody hide near the alien shower curtain. Right, you run through there and do some overwatch. Can you not overwatch from there? Oh, okay, fine. Right, you, Dave, go to that. that oh, it's all oh, XCOM's gone a bit weird. <laughs> it, just, it doesn't want him to go just that. There. there we go. There we go. Quick change of camera angle, all sorted. Right, you go there. Right, Tazadate, go there. You can also overwatch. Thank you very much indeed. Um, you, Doc, go there. And then heal up our, our illustrious leader just there. So yes, please. Heal Tazadate up. Four damage done. Yay, right, you're back. You're back. Full health. Lovely. That will be very nice. And then, boom, the last one can go just here. So now we're in position to go into the rest of the ship. There'll be some more wibbly alien noises, I imagine, from that side. Yeah, so they're over there. There is something out there, isn't there, Boom? There is. I mean, it's almost like we've landed on an alien ship and we've killed them. We've killed some of them and they're not very happy about that. Right, Van Damme, peel back the shower curtain. Uh, holding tanks of some kind. As repugnant as the thought may be, this is most likely how they keep their latest test subjects alive. Oh, so these are the abduction ships. And they are test sort of little sort of pods even. They're like little sort of containment pods where they keep people. Ugh. <laughs> That's not very nice. Right, we're going to have to slowly start moving into here. So Van Damme, that's good cover. Run into here. Can we see any aliens? No, we cannot. Okay, right, you can overwatch. Okay, let's get everyone moved into here, into this particular room and into good positions. Okay, okay, they're coming from down here. There is noise coming from this way. So I think we need to kind of have a look at what's going on over here. So there are going to be aliens in that bit. We want to be quite careful. Right, Tazadate, get into position just here. And then let's get Doc into position. So let's run you two there. Doc, what's going on here then? Have a look through here. Can we see anything? Is there anything obvious? Oh my goodness me! <laughs> oh, that this, this is an unpleasant surprise. Um, right, well there we go. We've 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 killed one of them. What? <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh right, okay. Carnage has happened. Abject carnage. Um, right, right. Okie dokie. Right, Dave, 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 Dave. Can you shoot things, Dave? <laughs> what can you see to shoot? 65% chance on that sectoid. That's that's not great, is it? That's not great. You can't see anything, but there is a little sectoid down there. We need a heavy. We need boom. But I don't think boom has got any clear shot on that. Uh, Frost? Where's Max? Where is Frost? He's all the way down there. He can fire a rocket, but it's... Oh, everything is very much blocked. If we could lob a rocket down into there, that would have been absolutely perfect. Um, we might be able to use a grenade. We might be able to deploy a bit of a grenade. If we could somehow... Right, Doc, can you kill the one down on the ground? Yeah, that would be great. If you could just shoot that thing, that would be excellent. That's one thing out there. There you go, in the back of the neck. <laughs> Boom. A critical hit because we hit it in the back of the neck, probably. Right, and then Tazadate, if you have got a shot at one of these, you might as well try and shoot one of them. 61, 70, 46, 64. Right, let's go for the let's go for the 70 percent. Was that the highest one? Yeah. So let's go for the 70 percent shot. Um, I can't quite. Oh, that's one of the that's one of the little sectoids. But do you know what? Again, it's one less thing shooting at us if we go for that. Okay, one down. So now there are only three things left that want to kill us in the face. Okay, we ours. 65%. That is rubbish. Frost, can you get into position just here, my good sir? You run over there for now. And yeah, it's not you're not in a great position there, but can you shoot at anything from there? 28%, 27%, 27%. Do you know what? They're gonna have to start moving. 
Let's overwatch you, and then we ours. Um, yeah, you're in the line of fire there, really. Aren't you? You're not in a great position. Can we get someone down here? If we get you down there, if you could get up on this side and run around them, that might work. Let's get him down there. So let's get Van Dam down this side. So run, 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 run. Lovely. And then we out. What do we do with we ours? What do we do with you? Because you're. You can't really stay there because that is they've got a direct line on you just there. If they're going to start coming through the door, let's get you just there. So you just nip around the corner. Can you swap to your pistol? Can you see anything? No. Okay, right. You can overwatch just there. You can overwatch and then boom. You are also not in a good position, boom. Because if they just come in here, they're going to absolutely pick on you. So how about we put boom to just... Can we throw a grenade around that corner? Can we throw a grenade? Oh, we could throw a grenade there. Uh, no, because that's just going to hit the wall. <laughs> I don't trust that. I don't like that. That's going to hit the wall, isn't it? I, d I don't trust the arc. But that's where the that's where the grenade's going to bounce. And now, I don't know what that's doing. I don't like the lines on that thing. I don't know. No, no, I think that's going to hit us. I think that's going to be... <laughs> that is going to be... A Fallout 4 explosives run, throw a grenade, bounce back on the wall from a wall and hit you on the head and explode kind of moment. Let's not do that. <laughs> that way, madness lies. Let's go here and let's overwatch you. So basically, we've got loads of people on overwatching. So if they move into our sight of any kind, we will be able to shoot them. Right, you're getting a little go, are you? Yep, so you're... Okay, you're, you, you've missed. I mean, you know, it was worth a go. It was... Was it worth a go? It was quite terrible. Oh, no. They've done the flying off into space thing. Where are they going to reappear? Anywhere? Okay, right. We ours is going to have a little pistol shot at the sectoid. And I think he's hit it. Yes. A couple of damage points on the little sectoid. So that thing is hurt. Where did the other thing go? It flew off. And now I don't know where it is. <laughs> don't like not knowing where they are. Um, right, Tazadate. You must have a good shot on that. 46%. Is that all? Is that all you've got on that? Do you know what? Take it. And then reload as well next time. Oh, you've missed, Tazadate. You've missed. Um, okay. Do we want to try and run you around the edge? Do we want to get you to say, there's no cover. There's no cover. That's a terrible idea. Run you up here. You're going out on your own a little bit. But if you can get round this way... If you can get over to here. We'll get you just here for now. Although that is dangerous because, yeah, what if something comes the other way? We'll have to. We'll just have to play it by ear. We'll play it by ear. I'm sure it'll all be fine. I'm sure everything will be fine. Right, you. 27%. This thing is a right pain. However, can we fire a rocket at it now? Are we able to fire a rocket at you? Shot is blocked. Oh, man. Yeah, we can't quite get that. That's fine. And then the shot is blocked just as it gets there. Oh, that's just very unfortunate, isn't it? Okay, not that. Right, Phoenix. Doc. 46% chance. Yes? Yeah, go for it. You've got an assault rifle. Go for it. Shooty shoots. Missed. We are not having a lot of luck with that one, are we? We are not having a lot of luck at all. Um, We hours. We hours would be great if you could also get into a loftier position than where you are. Right, okay. You're just there. How far can you... Oh, you can't dash across the other side properly. Right, we hours get down here. Get down there. I don't think he can overwatch and see you, because he's on overwatch, I think. So, okay, I think... Is everyone done? Except you. Overwatch. Absolutely. Overwatch and see what you can do. Oh, boom! Boom hasn't had a go. Maybe we put boom on overwatch as well, and just see what they do. Because there is an alien going to come down. He, One of them flew off. So we've now got to fly back down so we can see what he's doing. Right, he's probably going to take some shots at us, I imagine. Um, okay, he's blown up a bit of wall. My orders were to not damage the spaceship. What are you doing? Oh, let's come down here. Please hit. Oh my goodness me, you're a terrible shot, Frost. Back to aiming school with you. Back to aiming school. Right, okay, it's right behind us. This is not good. Frost is dead. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no. Critical hit on him. He is dead. He's not even recoverable. It flew in behind us. It shot us and he is dead. I don't think... I don't like losing people. I'm very sorry, Frost. Your career here was very short-lived. I don't really like losing people, but that... That was very unlucky. 
It just appeared behind us, got a critical on him, and it was all over. Bother. Okay, now we've got a bit of a problem, because there's one of these flipping things just here behind us, which is not great at all. And there's a sectoid down there. We need to kill this one. So, you. Uh, yeah, you there. Van Damme, be the hero. You've now got a clear shot on that thing. How can you not have a shot on that thing? Just lean around the door. <laughs> there you go. 74% chance. Does up to four damage. Yes. Go for it. Come on. Come on. And, okay. Couple of points of damage on it. That is better than nothing. Okay. Uh, you can fire on that. 85% chance to hit the one up there. Yes, absolutely, Dave. Go for it. And boom. And it caused three points. Okay. Not perfect, but better than nothing. Oh, wow, buddy. He's just here. He's all dead. <laughs> oh, no. Um, okay. You, 46% chance. You just need to cause two damage on it. Two, go, do it. Two little damage points. Yes, we got it. No, useless. You're all useless. Just hit the target, somebody. Okay, now the problem is, oh, and you've run out of ammo. And you're standing in direct firing lines. Now, this thing could come around here and take pot shots at any of us. Um, oh, dear. This, this is, this is bad. This is bad. And... I need to reload because I haven't got enough charge. Right, a pistol. Can I shoot anything with my pistol? I can shoot the sectoid or I can shoot that thing. Okay, I've got the choice of the sectoid or the big terrifying thing. Just up to two damage. Up to. So it might only cause one damage, even if I hit. Or I could kill the sectoid. Pretty much guaranteed death to that thing down there. I might kill the sectoid. At least it's one less thing that's going to shoot at us. I don't know what it's doing down there. So let's shoot you. Bang, bang, bang. Yay. Right, okay. We've killed one thing. Yay. Right, boom. Can you get Can you get a frag grenade over here, boom? Can you get a frag grenade on this? I mean, the, the science guys aren't going to like it. But yeah, absolutely. Boom by name. And boom by nature. Beautiful. Okay, that thing is dead. That is good, because that means that we are slightly less at risk of being flanked. Uh, okay, it's missed uh, Van Damme, but it has taken down his cover, unfortunately. Right, you you just need to reload now, unless you can shoot it with your pistol. 46% chance. Come on, come on. And one damage. You finally hit, and it causes one damage. Unbelievable. Right, okay. Let's get you into... Better cover. Why can't I go there? Oh, because the, the ground's on fire. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Right, you're in some cover finally. Right, come on. Come on now. Hit the thi <laughs> this thing. This thing is unbelievable. Okay. Um, Can we get you into position somewhere around here? No. Again, you're, that's no good. It's, can, can we go here? Can we run just there? Can we see it from here? If we switch to our pistol, I don't think we can see it. I don't think that counts that we can see it. Do you know what? We'll overwatch just there for now. Um, Doc. Doc, your, your time is now. This is your last use of your gun before you need to reload it. Please hit. One damage is all we need. One of these... Oh, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> How difficult can this thing be? It's just dodging out the way of everything. Okay, Boom. Boom did a good job. Do I try and get Boom out to blow that thing up now? Because I'm 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 sick of it. <laughs> I'm sick of it here. I'm annoyed that it's killed one of our people. Boom, run down here. You can overwatch right now. Absolutely. That'll be the end of our turn, so we'll see what this thing does. Fortunately, it's only this thing left now. It's gonna go for Van Damme. It missed Van Damme. So now Van Damme, right, come on, come on. Where is Van Damme? Van Damme's turn. Over there. This is your last shot as well before you need to reload. 73%. Let's just finish this now. Finally. Right, it's dead at long last. Okay, and the mission isn't over. There's still more. There's still more aliens out there. Ah, oh, dearie me. And we've done a little, little tiny bit of damage there. <laughs> but do you know what? The science guys might be cross. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. We were flanked. We had to survive. And, um... There is the mangled corpse of the very, very unfortunate Frost. Yeah, I don't think there was much we could have done with that. 
I don't think there was much we could have done. That thing flew off. We didn't know where it went and it just happened to come down behind us, walk through the door, shot him and got a critical. I, I think that was just pure bad luck. That was pure wrong place, wrong time, lucky shot from the uh, from the floater over here. So I apologise for us. Your, your reign here was short lived. Okay, where do we want to go now? I think we just got to work our way through the ship. This middle bit here looks pretty good because this gives us high ground of anything that might be in here or in here. So let's try and get everyone in position so we can all go down this sort of middle walkway. Okay, boom, just did a thing which was entirely unexpected. I thought I'd clicked to put her just there, but I've actually clicked to put her down there. So boom is currently stood on her own in a corner of a big alien tortured terror pit. Oh dear. Right, well, I hope nothing goes wrong with that. Oh, oh, the alien activity is coming from where we've already been. It came from over here. Okay, am I going off in completely the wrong direction? Maybe they're over this way. Maybe they're over there. Okay, yeah, I've kind of got everyone in the middle ready to go down into this bit of the ship. But maybe they're behind us. Okay, that makes things interesting. Yeah, so are they out? Maybe they're out of the ship. Maybe they're over here somewhere. Right, for now, that it seemed quite far away. I'm going to continue going through this way. I want to know what's down here. The only thing is, it takes us back downwards. It takes us back down. I don't really want to go down. These things are high up on the sides. I might try and move everybody. Let's come this way and we'll walk along here and then try and remain on sort of higher ground up on the side here because elevation is good, particularly for uh, particular for uh, we hours who's got bonuses to being elevated. So yeah, let's let's try and keep elevated. We'll go and try and take a pic. Oh, oh dear, boom! You are in a spot of bother, my good madam. Oh my goodness me! Oh gosh! Right. This could go quite badly. Um, okay. <laughs> boom! Boom! No! Um, right. Okay. <laughs> How are we going to handle this, this impending disaster? Right, can we kill... But boom, can you just run? Can you leg it? No, you can't because you've had your turn. Oh, dear. Um, right. Okay. Dave, switch to your... Sniper rifle. Can you see any of them? No. No, you cannot. That is sad news indeed. This needs to be open. We need to open the shower curtain and then he'd have a good shot on that one at least. But alas, the shower curtain is very much closed. I can't lob a grenade. I can't lob a grenade because um, it'll blow up Boom. Boom will be shot. Oh dear. Um, right, we're all just going to have to stand out in the open and take shots. We're just going to have to be big and brave. Do you know what? If we put Tazadate just there, we run Tazadate round. You can then do the shower curtain, so yay. That means that Dave, because Tazadate still has to go left, Dave might now be able to see one. Really? You can't, you can't see that. Just, just right in front of you, man. It's right there. Okay, right, we've got to get your pistol then. So, Dave, go here. Now, surely you can see something from there. Right, shoot. Shoot that thing. 100 chance to hit. Yeah, go on then. I can't see the others. 95% chance. I'd rather you hit that one up there. I'd rather you cause some damage on that thing up there. Okay, that's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. Oh, no. I think Boom's going to get got. I think Boom's time is up. It's a disaster. Okay, not that one. 94 or 90... Why is it a 94% chance to hit? Why is it 94? Right, there's up to 6 damage. Let's try and kill at least one of these things. Right, beautiful. It's dead. Boom is slightly less terrified of being eaten by a big alien monstrosity. Okay. And more we put over here as well. The more we put over here, the more targets these other ones are going to have. So let's run you... Uh, Van Dam, not Frost, because Frost is in bits over there somewhere. Let's run Van Dam there, and oh, Van Dam hasn't got any ammo left. How about could we lob a smoke grenade? Could we lob a smoke grenade? Oh, that's to do with aiming, though, isn't it? Right, you're just gonna have to reload, which is a which is a terrible shame because I think that might have signed Boom. Certainly, Boom will take some damage, and these things do weird stuff, don't they? These things like implant things in you and it's all very unpleasant sounding um come here absolutely doc your time is also now now you can't kill this thing 
You can't kill that, but you can certainly hurt it a lot. So, yeah. Please hit. Beautiful. Okay. Four damage on it. It's there go. Right. It's going for Tazadate. I thought Tazadate... It's been poisoned. I thought Tazadate would have had a shot. That's been poisoned as well. Okay. We need to kill these things very much right now. Because it's hurting our people and it's making me sad. I'll be perfectly honest. It's making me very sad indeed. Okay. You can see things now. Can you switch to your sniper weapon? And then take a headshot on that thing. Yes, please. Just kill it. Just kill it very much dead in the face. That's a nice sort of free shot. Boom, it's dead. Splendid. Okay, well done, Dave. Critical hit on it. It would have been one go. Right, and now, everybody fire at this thing. Everybody fire. It's all on its own. Just shoot it in the face. All the people. Boom. You can shoot it in the face. There's a 62% chance to hit. That's explain. Explain this madness. Right, okay, and you've somehow missed. I don't really know how you missed. It's right in front of you. Unless you're trying to not hit Tazadate or something. I don't know. Right, Tazadate, you I'm surprised this isn't a 100 percent chance. That is terrifying. I would be very surprised. But it is 92%. Right. It's dead. Oh, few, few. Right, okay, okay. We lost one operative. Again, as I said earlier, I think that was just unfortunate. It was just bad luck. So I don't think I'm not gonna blame myself. It wasn't like we did like when we lost covered. It, it's all it's all fine. So we've killed 11 aliens. These got poisoned, but fortunately nothing bad happened from that. That that was that was very, very scary there for a moment. I thought Boom was a goner. I thought Boom was a goner. They got poisoned, but nothing happened from that, which was good. So yeah, 11 aliens killed. One lost. <sighs> sort of unfortunate, but there we go. Right, let's go back to base and see what they do with the, um, the captive energy alien creature thingamajigger. Is that all that's left of the specimen we attempted to capture? Yes. I believe we may have found the source of the strange readings we picked up when we first encountered it. What is it, Doctor? We're not exactly sure. It's organic in nature, yet highly magnetized, and it appears to resonate very faintly within a specific electromagnetic spectrum. It is currently unclear how or... Perhaps that's because this is outside your field of expertise, Doctor. If what you're saying is true, this object is an antenna, one that's receiving a signal. That signal? Can we trace it? No. At least not yet. We would first need to determine its encryption algorithm. My team can handle that. In that case, I will focus on constructing an interface between this object and our global communications array, which we'll need to trace the signal. Then it looks like researching this crystal should be our top priority. Yes, okay, message understood. And also, I imagine that all the things you want me to build are going to be very, very expensive. <laughs> They're all going to be really expensive things that I can't afford to build because I've got no monies. People of the world, would you like aliens to stop coming to kill you? Then please send me more future monies. I really need some cash. Okay, so Boom is wounded. That's fine. Um, uh, Tazadate is, is not wounded. Or, I don't know, you got po uh, she got poisoned at the end. But she wasn't actually wounded. Or maybe she wasn't wounded enough to be sort of injured further on, you know, after the mission. So, boom. Yeah, boom did take a bit of a kick in there. So, six days, boom is out. Everyone else is fine, except Frost, who is a bit dead. Sorry. I apologise. Okay, two missions, two kills, dead. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, who is leading at the minute? So, oh, it, oh it's pretty close. Tazadate, 25 kills. Boom, 28 kills. And then uh, Dave here, wee hours, 19 kills. Good job, good job, everybody. Good job. Van Damme's got four. Uh, Phoenix, so False Phoenix, the Doctor, has got 11 kills. Well done you as well. Because you're more, you're a sort of uh, running around healing everyone kind of class. So that, that's pretty good, 11 kills. Okay, so let's see what we got. We got an outsider shard. That's nice. That's the thing that they sort of form out of. Uh, various bits and bobs of weapons, corpses, and all sorts of stuff. Is there anything damaged? Right. Oh my goodness me. There is all sorts of stuff we can sell. Alien stasis tanks that are damaged. Flight computers. Alien surgery. Damaged. Okay. Oh, there's an intact. Hang on. There's an intact alien surgery. Oh my. An alien stasis tank. Oh, that's going to lead to new science things, isn't it? Okay. Right. Well, let's right now, let's go and visit the grey market. If we've got things here. Right. 
This thing here. This item has no research benefit and can be sold freely. Yes, please. I will sell those. Alien surgery. No research benefit. Sell those. UFO power sources. Yes, I will sell all of those. Let's get us 140 future... Oh, hang on. Five alien stasis tanks. Yeah, I'll sell those as well. 165 future XCOM monies. That's beautiful. This here. An alien surgery. This item has no research benefit and can be sold freely. Anything that's got no research benefit, I will sell. But do I want to? Is something going to come up later on and go, ha ha, you should have kept that. I'll keep it for now. I'll keep it for now. 165 future monies. Yes, please. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Right. 165 future monies. In one day, we're going to get the UFO power source research, and then we can turn to doing what the next key research thing with Bob is. So let's just do that. We'll scan for activity. We'll just shove it forward a day. No, council. Council, I'm very busy. I'm very busy right now doing slightly more important things. Right. Lovely. So, UFO power source, researched, assign new research, the Illyrium Generator. Okay, that sounds fantastic. Okay, what does all this say? I mean, the first line is interesting enough. The power supply systems recovered from the alien craft are perhaps the most important piece of technology we've retrieved so far. So essentially, they are limitless or nearly limitless energy supplies. And we can do something here. I thought it would be like a thing we could put in our base. I thought this was going to be a base thing that means we can generate loads of energy. But this seems to think that it's to do with the fighter craft. So let's just see what that actually lets us do. And there you go. Illyrian power generators supply 30 power plus 2 power for every adjacent power facility. 30 power! That would see us for absolutely ages. And let's do the outsider shard because it's important. Illyrium though. 8 days. 10 of that. Okay, that could be interesting as well. But no, let's do the priority one first. Let's do the important one first. Yes. I have difficulty understanding how such an advanced species could show so little empathy for the lives of other sentient beings. It goes against everything we have ever imagined. The technology is there, but with it comes a callousness we would never have expected. What could have brought them to this? Have you never seen a sci-fi film? Aliens are very, very rarely happy to come over here. They're always coming here to eat us, beat us, beat us up, kill us, stab us, jab us, kidnap us. Okay, so research is done. Engineering, uh, um, how could we... No, 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 facilities is what I wanted to look at. We've now got a bit of money. We've got some cash. Uh, we've also dug this bit out. Now, I did want to get... Where was the foundry? 75 and 3 power. Because this allows us to improve current items that we've got. I think that could be really useful. The Illyrium generator is 275 monies. We could build one of those eventually. I think it's probably a good idea to get one of those constructed. I also would like a satellite nexus. They're 300. The thermo generators go over steam vents. Okay, so that's fine. So that's okay. But then a lab would be useful as well because it increases the research speed 20%. We could do things 20% quicker. But I think a foundry is probably a good investment. I think a foundry... We do want to get a satellite uplink in there, but then I would like to get one of the fancy satellite uplink things in. I want to get one of the fancy pants ones in. But um, how about just here? Let's excavate this. Dig that out. Uh, that's next to alien containment. Hang on, is there a bonus to having foundries next to each other? No. So the foundry is just a standalone building. So we could build a foundry... Just there, because that's not got any adjacency stuff to it. And then, I don't know what we could put there. So what can we put just there? So we want to get a foundry in, and then we could just put any anything down there, really. Just a thing, just a generator or something, a power generator. But I kind of want to get the maximum adjacency bonuses that we can get. But I don't know how we can go about doing that without it being rubbish. Let's, let's excavate this square next to this workshop. We could get another workshop. Because when you build a workshop, you get a 7% refund on resources used when building vehicles, foundry projects, and facilities. So that is a good thing. So we've got five engineers. Build another one next to it. That is a 7% refund on resources. So that's quite nice. So we'll get some money back so everything becomes a little bit cheaper. So yeah, let's get the foundry just there. Next to alien containment, why not? It, it can just sit there quite happily. That's fine. We'll, we'll sort of dig that out. 
So then just here, what do we want to put just here then? What shall we have? Because we can now build a thing. We can build something. Well, we can have labs. Why don't we get a lab? Get a lab in. 145 monies. How much was a lab? 125. Maybe not. Maybe not just yet. Let's see if we can buy some items instead. Because these things could be very useful. Stuff like this. Phoenix cannons and defense matrixes and targeting. These That was quite good for five monies. For five monies, three sectoid corpses. Let's get a few of those in. Let's build three of those. So nine sectoid corpses for 15 monies. We'll get some target uplink aiming thingamajigs. So we'll get those in. Should we get one of these? A defense matrix? Three floater corpses. Let's get one of those in. Just so we've got a bit of a better sort of defense thing in case we have to come up against another UFO, which I think is likely. And then a Phoenix cannon. Phoenix cannons are better. So, okay, so it's capable of delivering massive burst damage, but it's limited range, puts the interceptor at greater risk. Do we want to do that? Do we want to start fitting them out with Phoenix cannons, or shall we just use these things to keep them alive? And then, shall I get some more armor for people? I could get some more armor. Or I could get some better weapons. Oh, there's so many choices. Okay, taking a look. Taking a look at all the soldiers we have. Uh, obviously, Betty Boom is down here. She is wounded. But we don't need to swap her weapons out. Her primary weapon is the big shooty gun, which we haven't upgraded yet to have lasers in. And then the rocket launcher. So she can't be upgraded. Neither can any of the heavies. So the heavies are kind of out of the question at the moment. Although, yeah, we've only got, we've only got one because the other heavy is dead. So never mind. We've got Zhang, but I'm not really counting Zhang because I can't change his name or customise him or anything. He doesn't feel like part of the crew. He doesn't feel like part of the team. So Tazadate has a laser rifle. I think we get a pistol each for the two snipers. So we get laser pistols for the snipers. Doc, so Phoenix, can have a proper laser rifle. So we want one pistol, one rifle... Two pistols, one rifle. And then Van Damme, I think, can have a rifle. So if we could get two rifles and two pistols, that would be really good. That would be very useful indeed. Can we afford that? So two rifles is going to be 34. And two pistols is going to be 12. Yeah, yeah, we can definitely afford that. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. So let's get two pistols and two rifles. Yes, please. Two pistols and two rifles. Very welcome. Go back to the hangar. And then let's swap out your... Uh, get your load out. Swap out your pistol for a laser pistol. Because that just looks better. And uh, then we can go... That's Tazadate. So then Phoenix, your load out. Have yourself a laser rifle. Because you know what? Why the heck not? And then go to here. We can't change you. Right, McKilterson, you can have a laser pistol. It looks very cool there. I like the glowy energy. And then uh, Van Damme, have the, laser, have the laser rifle. There we go. Right. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Oh, there's a plasma rifle for research as well. I just want more stuff. I need more monies. Okay. That, I think, is looking pretty good. 51 money. How much is it to buy another satellite? Everyone's told me that satellites are important. How, sort of, how much is it? Uh, they're in there, aren't they? Satellites are 58. I'd need seven money and I could request another satellite. Or I could possibly equip some of our interceptors with Phoenix cannons. Should we do that? It puts it at greater risk during combat. Though. We need better armor on our uh, interceptors. That's what we need. We need better armor. Or shall I just get some of this? Some carapace armor. And try and get everybody in this carapace armor. Because that also would make sense. How much of this can I make? So I can make three. Joe you know Op, do it. Make three carapace armor things, please. Thank you. Right, now we need to decide who's going to wear it. Dave normally is at the back. So tazate has got some on. Dave's at the back. Doc can have some on. I think that would make perfect sense because you're normally up at the front. So, yep, you can have uh, carapace armor. Ooh, exciting carapace armor. Okay, um, not counting you. You're normally at the back as well. You definitely can have some. So, your loadout. Yep, have carapace armor. It ruins your colors a little bit. It ruins your styling, but never mind. And um, Lionel, how about... No, where's Boom? There. Boom, carapace armor. Beautiful. Okay. 
that is excellent news. So <laughs> we've got people now with better sort of hit points and stuff like that. That is all looking good. Uh, right, what's going on? Three days until our satellite is complete. Let, let's try and get that done. Let's try and deploy another satellite, shall we? Ah, and it looks like I'm not going to be able to deploy a satellite because we've got alien abductions being reported. Well, okay, let's go and look at the sites. Let's go and take a look at the sites. And we've got the United Kingdom. I kind of feel obliged. <laughs> I kind of feel obliged like I should go there. So we've got the UK, where panic is in the middle. Perth, Australia, where panic is a little bit lower. Or South Africa. Now, I've got a choice of very difficult, difficult, or very difficult. Oh, the agony of choice. Uh, this would give us an assault captain. Ooh, that gives us four scientists, which is okay. But your panic is a bit lower, Australia. So I'm not that first. And that gives us 200 future monies. 200 future monies could be very useful. Oh, I don't know which one to go for. And you know what? We will have to wait until the next time out to see which one of those we're going to attempt. Because I think this is a good point to wrap it up here. I think if I were to do this whole extra mission, this would be quite a long video indeed. So I think... We'll come back and see which one we do. Although I, I, I suspect we're going to do the United, we're going to go for the United Kingdom. Two hundred future monies is pretty good, and we could spend that. We could like invest that into the foundry, and we can uh, put some more sort of weapons out, get some more armor and stuff, upgrade the uh, interceptors and all that kind of stuff. That two hundred future monies could be very good. Not so bothered about four scientists. Yeah, it's okay, but their panic is a bit lower anyway. Uh, this one here, though, a new assault class captain. A new assault class captain would also be very, very lovely indeed. Now, also, hang on. Can I do that? Yeah, so I can come back into this. That's fine. I can actually go and have a look at that. Okay, let's just take a quick nosy at this. So if I do the UK, then panic will not be quite as high over Europe, which is nice. However, if I go to here, if I don't do Egypt... These places are going to start panicking. So South Africa, Egypt and Nigeria are probably all going to panic. So we might lose Africa potentially. So we could lose Africa or we could lose Europe. Oh, the agony of choice. Uh, we also haven't got any interceptors over Europe. We haven't got any satellites or anything. Oh, dearie me. Okay, do you know what? Do you know what? We'll sort all this out next time because, yeah, let, let's wrap it up for now. Goodness me, goodness me. There's not really a there's not really a clear path in this. I quite like it. It's, it's not like you can win everything. There's not like an optimum thing where you can go, right, put a satellite here and a satellite there. I'll do that. That's covered that. That's covered that. Right. Nobody's panicking. I've got loads of money. I've got a squad of really tough people that are practically invincible. You know, all your people do feel quite vulnerable. All your people feel relatively vulnerable. You know, like that guy, Frost, just it, one, one alien appeared, took a shot at him, critical hit, gone. I mean, nothing we could have done, really. There's nothing really we could have done to avoid that. And, you know, it, it's not it's not an easy game. It's not straightforward. It's not holding your hand and going, okay, now you to, maybe you want to uh, go and look over there, maybe? Go on, go on, have a little look over there. It's all, you know, it's it's good. It's good. I like it. It's challenging. So I hope you're enjoying it. If you are enjoying it, as ever, please do leave a like. And also, please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on as we try to save the world. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. They've ripped my arms off, ripped my legs off. I mean, you know, unfortunately they didn't rip anything else off. Yes, I'm off my face on mushrooms. Why, Lady Charlotte, I, uh, I would certainly love to taste your cake. The King of the West is an idiot. I am off my face on mushrooms. I mean, asking me questions isn't going to be my strong point at the minute.